This is CPM Precalculus Chapter 1, number 136. Fill in the blanks to make the following equations correct. So for A, we have x squared plus 6x plus blank equals to x plus 3 squared. So what do we fill in the blank to be for this to be true, for it to be correct, you know, or true? Okay, so what we have to do is, well, let's multiply this out and see what it equals, then we'll have that blank easily done, right? So x plus 3 times x plus 3, what does that equal? Well, we can use any method to distribute these, um, but I like to use the box method sometimes. So here is my box. Here I have an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. Right, so x times x is x squared, 3 times x is 3x, 3, 3 times x is 3x, 3, 3 times 3 is 9. So I know that's, the st that's equal to the same thing as x squared plus 3x plus 3x is 6x plus 9. So immediately I know now that for this to be true, I have to fill in this blank with 9, okay? So what's the point of doing this exercise? Well, it's to help you see that when you are going to go from here, basically, if you want to add a number in to complete the square, we are going to have to add in a 9. Well, so we're going to see more about this about this later. But basically, if you look at the first term is going to be x times x, x squared. The middle term is going to be 3 times x plus 3 times x. That gives you 6x. And the last term here is going to be 3 times 3, which gives you 9. Anyway, um, right now, do it this way, and then you see exactly what number this has to be, and you can fill in the blank. Okay, so likewise, here in part B, we have x squared minus blank times x plus 16 equals to x minus 4 squared. So again, we could just multiply this out. This is equal to x minus 4 times x minus 4, and Using the box method, well, this time I'm going to use FOIL, which is FOIL, F-O-I-L, stands for F is first, O is outside, I is inside, L is last. Okay, so this is then equal to, well, what are the first terms in both of these binomials? Well, X. So let's multiply those. X times X is X squared. Okay. So now we want to look on the outside. So the outside is going to be x and negative 4. So minus, we multiply those, we get minus 4x. The inside, we look very inside, we have negative 4 and x. So again, we have minus 4x. And last, the two last terms are going to be negative 4 and negative 4. We multiply those, we get 16. Okay, so let's just combine like terms. And we have x squared minus 8x plus 16. And we see that if we make this an 8 right here, it makes this equality true, right? It's correct. So here for part A, we have 9, and for part B, we have 8. Okay, so we can start seeing patterns here that, well, the first term is going to be x times x, x squared. The last term here is going to be negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. And the one in the middle, like we said earlier, is going to be 4 times negative negative 4 times x, I'm sorry, plus negative 4 times x. So it's negative 4x plus negative 4x. We get negative 8x here. So this is the end of CPM Precalculus Chapter 1, number 136.